This is for the players. I'm Ryan Betson. I'm Josh Saunders. And this is for the players, the pop culturist PlayStation podcast over 40 years of playing PlayStation and 8 plus years in that games media combined. I'd like to thank you for joining us in this PlayStation conversation. This PlayStation conversation happens every Monday morning at 9am Australia Eastern Standard Time on YouTube and 8am on iTunes, Spotify and other podcast services. If you'd like to be a part of future conversations, please join us on Facebook, Discord, comment below. If you're feeling generous, join us on Patreon at patreon.com slash thepopculturist. Head over there, check out the tears. There might be something there that interests you. If you do support us on Patreon, you can watch us record this show live like we are actually doing for the first time this year because we have been consistently garbage. Well, mostly me. But anyway, we actually had a planned time this week, so it worked out really, really well for us. Planned time we come up with this morning. That's it. We're like, hey, what time is like this one? Mm. Summer. This time sounds good. Okay. But... If you want to show support for pop culture is on your body, hit popculturist.com slash shop. We can buy shirts like this. I didn't change. Not this one. It's a pretty cool shirt, though. Oh, thanks. It was $6 from Kmart. Oh, mm. $6 dues. Mm. One of those apprentice wages. Mm. Mm. Living that, and that, that student life. <laughs> uh, we are also on Twitch at twitch.tv slash popculturist. You should also go listen to The Young and the Wrestlers. Just saying. Yeah. How's that going? It's going well. Yeah. So I'm just pushing numbers right now. So I reached out to uh, I reached out to Rojo, no, mm. not Rojo, Universal, because mm. they're the ones distributing the, the Fighting with My Family movie with The Rock. Mm. I'm like, hey, this is us. And they're like, that name's fucking awesome. And I'm like, <laughs> the movie doesn't come out till March. I'm like, no worries, we'll talk to you in March. <laughs> cool. Because like it's already out in the US now, but I was like, hey, uh, like okay. when's it coming here? They're like, yeah, like we got nothing. All we know is it comes out in March. My easy done. I'll talk to you later. Cool. Sounds good. But how have you been, man? Hot. It's hot. Tired. Mm. It's my birthday today. Happy birthday, Joshua. Thank you. I got the watch. Oh, oh I didn't notice the new watch. It's very nice. Uh, yeah. That's, that's it. That's it, man. I mean. Yeah. So what are you now? Thirty-one. Yeah. Mm. Big yeah. man on campus. <laughs> Literally, I'm the oldest one in my class. <laughs> <laughs> how is the schools? How is, how I, know, is I haven't gone back yet. Oh, sweet. Tomorrow. Oh, yeah, because Monday was last Monday was a public holiday. Yeah. Mm. Back to the 5 a.m. trains and stuff. That's Have you loaded up your, your switch with anything? Are you just going to, like, sleep? Oh, yeah, sleep on the train. Yeah. <laughs> Podca- I podcast and sleep on the way up. And podcast and sleep on the way back. Sounds very, very mm. good. It's very good. Uh, Jess says, I feel bad because I didn't wish you a happy birthday. Happy belated birthday, Josh. Well, the thing is, Josh doesn't have his birthday on Facebook. Mm. Uh, So normally I will do a post in the community group and whatnot, but I didn't. I thought I'd respect your lack of, (laughs) your your hidden birthday. (laughs) My lack of enthusiasm for being alive. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Like, you know what? Let's give him another year where he can just, like, fucking hide. (laughs) Uh, I finished two games. Two games? Two games. I finished Hellblade. Actually, Jess, did we mention Hellblade last time? I don't think we did. I mentioned I was playing it again. Mm, I maybe. But I Fuck don't. it. I ticked it off. Magnifique. Yeah. That's fantastic. It's exceptional. Yeah, it? Very good. En- very cool ending. Very epic. I don't think I ever got credits on it. I think I was very close, and then I got mm. distracted by something else. So I might go back. If I mm. start it from scratch, it counts 2019 credits. I think I might do it. Yeah, it's very, um, very intense, the last half mm. an hour. So it's really just... Like hearts, just like what the fuck's happening? Uh, no, very cool. Very, very glad I finished it. Very excited to own an Xbox so I can play more Ninja Theory games in future. Mm-hmm. Very uh, cool. And I've finally fucking ticked off Assassin's Creed Odyssey. How many hours? I think I finished at about seventy something. Jesus. Christ. I did a lot of piss farting around at the start. I'm going to hundred percent this bitch. I'm going to go every <laughs> island. I'm going to do all locations. Fuck, do everything. <laughs> and then I was like, no. Yeah. You know, you start with that enthusiasm and then halfway through, you're like, there's a lot here. That's like me with Far Cry 5 last year. I was like, I'm going to stream all of it. I'm yeah. going gonna, gonna to play the whole campaign on stream. And then I just stopped giving a fuck about the game. Yeah. That's not, I didn't stop giving a fuck. I was just like, I don't actually care about 100%ing this anymore. Yeah. I just want to finish the story. And it was cool. It was. I got my money's worth because I only paid 40 bucks in an EB sale. That's a win then, isn't it? So that's a win. Uh, it's been EB sales. I almost picked up like Evil Within One and Two for like thirteen dollars. I don't like those games. Aren't they very good? I have number two. If oh. you want to borrow it, yeah, why not? I don't know. Yeah, I thought I thought they were cool. 
I, was I, remember, them, I remember them being cool. I yeah, not for me. But none of those games are like Amnesia and Outlast. Oh, it's a play fun. like that. I thought it was well, like from, a, I thought it was like Resi. No, uh, well, from the I only played like the first hour, so I could be wrong. But okay. it was like hiding from the bad guy. Ah, oh, fuck that noise! I thought it was like Resi. It might change later. Yeah. I don't know. I I can't speak to it. I've uh, been playing through the division again mm-hmm. in, in anticipation of all well, the beta coming this week because I pre-ordered the Dark Zone edition. Look so I get, I get beta and I get to play three days early. Mm-hmm. I did send an email through to Ubi. <laughs> did you? <laughs> yeah, my, hey. But it was like right on the end of a Friday. So oh. I, well, I haven't got my beta code yet. So um, no, they're more like Ari. Fuck cool. yeah. So right, you might like it. Might have, to, might have to go back. Thank you, Paul. Um, Yeah. Are you so, are you playing more of the division right now is it kind of tempering your expectations or is it giving you more of a pump ready for I'd be more of a pump I'm just I'm just redoing the campaign yeah I've nearly finished it because the campaign's not that long mm. I don't have any of the DLCs or anything but I'm not going to buy them um, I just I like the atmosphere in the world the dark zone is fucking incredible mm. atmospherically yeah I'm excited I'm excited to get a collector's edition to be yeah. excited to be getting a collector's edition because yeah. I haven't had one for ages. So. Oh, I want, I want to talk more about the division, but we'll, that's we are going to get into our anyway. main conversation as well as some of the news as well. If there divisioned is. everything, mm. um, I myself have not once again not played a ton of games this week. Uh, I did dive back in RE a little bit, go a little bit further in Claire's run through. Um, just I think I was playing a little bit too late, so I just wasn't feeling it at the mm-hmm. night. Uh, I, I got credits too. Uh, I oh. finally finished the the campaign of WWE 2K19. <laughs> how many hours does that take? Oh, I don't know. It was awesome though. <laughs> Thoroughly enjoyed it. So how does it end? You're just like the champion. Yeah. So it, it's pretty much a year in the life of your character. Your character. Okay. So you come in just after Mania 2018, and you cap it off at Mania. Sorry, 2017, and then you finish it 2018 Mania. So the one in Saint. In, Can uh, your New story Orleans. finish on a loss? Like you lose. No, the campaign forces like that. You can't progress to the next unless you get the win. Oh, okay. So the, during the during the matches, it'll be like you need to do this at this moment. So it's like punch AJ Styles in the face, you know, strike Braun Strowman in the ring, and then initiates like cut scene or whatever. whatever. Oh, okay. So it does end with you becoming the Universal Champion at WrestleMania against AJ Styles. Um, hence why he's on the cover. Hence why he's on the cover. Yeah. Yeah. No, like the um, what I loved about it, it's 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 the same bullshit story crap that you get but just jacked up yeah. like you meet Bray like Bray Wyatt comes at some point he burns down your van so you go to his like fucking house swamp house, swamp house <laughs> yeah. and you fight him and then after he drugs you out you burn down his house <laughs> <laughs> yeah cool yeah and then, like, sounds more like a fantasy RPG. yeah and then you come into like the back into you know your raw and then Matt Hardy's there being all freaking weird being all woke Mm. And he's like, I can take you through the multiverse. And you're like, all right, sweet. So you go back in time and fight Brett the Hitman Hart. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and during that, you find your inner demon, which can either be like a demon king like Finn Balor, or it can be a shark man or a squirrel man. Okay. And like, I was like, I'm going the demon because he's a dumb. <laughs> oh. I'm disappointed though. I can't. I just went back in time and fought Bret Hart. <laughs> but squirrel man is dumb. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Pick and choose my battles. Um, I'm disappointed that the campaign can only be played as a male. Because yeah. I would have loved to go do it again, but it's like Morley. <laughs> like, I did it. I'm the Universal <laughs> Champion. Put Morley in there. Make her the you know the the Raw Women's Champion. Why not kids too? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Put James in there. The toddler rumble. <laughs> it's just one rope though. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, okay. Okay, over the bottom rope. <laughs> <laughs> the campaign is that right amount of stupid. I thoroughly love it. That's and good. uh yeah, so that's credits number two for the year. Is there a um, reason for you to continue playing? Yeah, it's- I might go do the universe mode. I would also enjoy just do a little bit of bouts here and there. Cool. But yeah, that's good fun. So we uh I booted up at work, so I booted up two K eighteen at work, uh, on Wednesday and we're like because we're like well, let's let's make a tournament here at work for a laugh. People can make characters of themselves, whatever crazy idea they have. And one of the guys, Caleb, he's like can I make Bob Ross? <laughs> I'm like, fuck yes, you could make Bob Ross. So Bob Ross is the Universal Champion. Uh, he defeated not just uh, Brock Lesnar, John Cena, Undertaker, and I think he also fought Stone Cold at one point. Wow. I took all the all the all the big dudes. Yeah. So it's very funny to see Bob Ross walk in and like, cause he, to his credit, he pulled out his phone. He had a reference image, and he's like. <laughs> 
Okay. It was awesome. <laughs> Thoroughly good. And last night I played some Everybody's Golf because I was playing Anthem and they get hard crashed on me. I'm like, well, fuck that. And I also played Everybody's Golf instead. Yeah, I played Anthem too, but we're talking about that later. Yes, indeed. But I think that's about, I think that's about the only things I've played, really. Cool. It's been quite a week. Cool. Played a bit more Ace Combat as well. Yeah. That game is awesome. Makes me want to hurl a lot, but it's very good. But I forgot what the next section is called. Oh, it's yeah. Play. That's what we played. Now it's time to talk to you about the PlayStation news that happened this week in a section we call Inform the Players. Let's just throw a quick one in there before Spoilers, we officially painkillers right now. And before we officially get started, <laughs> uh, Fortnite did a live concert this morning at the time of recording with Marshmallow. Mm. Fuck me! What an incredible thing to be a part of. I mean, you can shit on Epic and Fortnite so all you explain want. Explain so what it is. Over the, over this week. In Pleasant Park, they've been building like a music stadium, mm -hmm. like a concert stadium. And then a few days ago... Like a stage or a full-blown stadium? A sta oh, a stage. Yeah. stage with lights and speakers and all that stuff. And then a few days ago, they released marshmallow stuff. Like... The bucket get, head guy, yeah? The yeah, the, the marshmallow head. He skin and a pickaxe and a dance and all that kind of... And some challenges like for him. Yes. Apparently, he was streaming it as well. He was like, what the fuck? And yeah, so it was a live concert. So they disabled every other game mode... And just had um, this one this marshmallow one where killing was off for the duration of the concert, and so a timer starts, and then marshmallow comes out of the stage. This is all happening live across millions of games and servers. Comes out from underneath the stage in front of his keyboard and all that, and he's speaking to everyone as well. He's like, "Yo, what up, Fortnite? You know, this is marshmallow. <laughs> you know, we're gonna party." <laughs> and I'm like, "What?" And then he's just like. Dropping tunes and like talking and it's like night time. There's fireworks and lights and giant um, holographic figures like dancing along and all that. And there's say. just like a hundred people just watching this live concert. And it was so... What are you doing? Just getting the swing on. Yeah, well. Um, uh, as otherwise, we're just calling your groin. It was very... It was like feeling the love. Mm. There's no killing. Everyone's just there dancing, having Pressing a, emotes, having a good time, yeah. doing their emotes and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the music was very, very good. Like there wasn't a hitch, no, no glitches, no crashes. Um, and then at random so, point, like, so he's got a song. He's got a song called "Fly." Yeah. And when he drops the beat and he goes "Fly," the gravity disappears and everyone flies up into the air with their gliders. So everyone's gliding in front <laughs> of the stage and stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? So is there footage of him doing it live or is no? You so you're unsure whether it's a pre-recorded bit? No, well, it's, how can I explain it? Saw a phone, uh, there's footage of a phone call of Marshmallow calling the guy from Epic who organised it, mm. saying, dude, that was the best thing I've ever done. You know, this is amazing. And the guy from Epic is like crying. He's like, I can't believe this worked. I feel so ha And Marshmallow's <laughs> like, dude, there are you know, videos of kids like dancing along. And, all, and the guy from Epic is like, I can't believe, like he's bawling. He's like, I yeah. can't believe this actually, we pulled this off. It's just an incredible thing to watch. And he's doing it again actually tonight in Fortnite. They're doing an encore show. Oh, very cool. So might be worth just jumping in, update the game, and yeah. jump in. It's six PM for us, I think. There will just be a game mode. Just join it, and the game directs you where to go, and just watch it. Yeah, so it's so fucking. That's cool. it's very tempting. Just really cool thing to be a part of. It was very very cool. Yeah, well, very very. They, cool. And Epic just keep pushing this just mm. further because you know we look back at our gaming you know modern warfare and halo and you know there we think back and we've got the fond memories and you know fortnite is that for this generation of kids and like because alex my son had his friend over last night as well so they watched it together i'm like these kids they're gonna remember this forever are they going to remember this for yeah fucking they, they won't ever. that's not something that's easily forgotten and it's not just the battle royale mode of fortnite just what they're adding you know the creative mode everyone makes their custom games and all that kind of stuff you can make your own game and upload it for other people to play like you could i think in halo you know make your own maps and mm -hmm. game modes and you know this is that for a whole new generation and it's very cool to see how as much as i shit on fortnite and yeah, I, I don't I do like too. it I'm there are moments of, hearing about of cool it. Oh, yeah but I want to hear about these things. Yeah, you, but you have to give Epic respect just for how much they're pushing this yeah. and how many new things they're doing. You know, they were the first to get Sony to buckle on the cross-platform play mm -hmm. and also buckle on shared platform accounts. Mm -hmm. You know, your Fortnite account is... doesn't matter what system you play it on, you know. So they're the first ones pushing a lot of consumer-friendly things too. So they deserve yeah. a lot of respect. But on the PC, though, there's a lot of hate towards Epic right now. Oh, yeah. Fuck PC, man. Fucking entitled jerks. Yeah. Sorry. Just... 
There's, We're sorry, there's, but you know, have fun with PowerPoint. I didn't, I didn't put that in because it's not PlayStation related at all. But I might just we'll quickly chat about. Yeah, we'll quickly chat about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So official number one PlayStation Network generated 12.5 billion US dollars of revenue in 2018, making Sony's network service alone. This isn't including hardware sales. A bigger earner than Microsoft's entire gaming division and all of Nintendo for the year. Makes sense when you've got like nearly 100 million yeah. consoles out there. I think they're up to 94 million yeah, ships something or something. Like now. Uh, as highlighted by Nego Partners analyst uh, Daniel Armard on Twitter, the figure sets a new high for yearly PSN ride revenue topping 2017's and then record setting amount. Included in that total is revenue generated by full game downloads, add ons, and subscriptions. The analyst noted PSN's 12.5 billion is higher than Nintendo's total revenue for 2018. <laughs> Sony no, uh, Sony's network also beat out Microsoft Gaming Division last year as well, which generated 11.5 million dollars. Wow. wow, that's a lot of money. See, see this is <laughs> that's so obviously the, so their PSN. So they're not talking about subscriptions. They're talking about subscriptions, games. They're not talking about add-ons. Hardware. Like everything that was purchased during the PSN. Mm. So that includes your yearly subscription. Yeah, well. yeah. Okay, cool. PlayStation Fuck yeah, that's awesome. Side note: This is something I I heard. So I was listening to our friendly competitors, Platinum Explosion, mm. uh, another PlayStation podcast here in Australia. Uh, because they're what so they just they were talking about how PSN uh, sorry PS now is slowly being implemented across other countries mm. uh, and recently uh, by about September October of last year there was a job up and an article written by an Adelaide newspaper where Sony were opening a cloud gaming storage center in Adelaide okay which means we might get we might get PS now why I don't know. I'm just, I, it's just more of it. <laughs> That's just, in, in, interesting. Because, well, with PS Now also having the, the streaming possibilities as well as the... Uh, you can now download some games permanently mm. like, to your console, like like Games Pass. Mm. Isn't it all older stuff, though? It's Yeah, it's like, there's no new day one shit like, yeah. like PS Now... Ha- sorry, like uh, Games Pass has. Mm. But... That's something that's always assumed that was not going to happen here in Australia. Yeah. So imagine the revenue when this does launch here and people can start forking assuming out money. Assuming our internet can actually stream games. True. And that's that's the biggest downside. <laughs> and also, big... why is it in Adelaide in all places? I guess yeah, to make Adelaide's sure to hit both city, coasts, I, I suppose. Yeah. But, um, well, it should be fucking in Uluru then. Like in the centre <laughs> of Australia. Alice Springs or something. Hey, apparently there is dope internet in Uluru. Just saying. Oh. I can't get it in fucking Norlane. Nah, that's <laughs> dope in all the room. Uh, number two, a new patent filed by Sony suggests that next PlayStation could include backwards compatibility for previous PlayStation consoles. Patent uh, was filed on January 20th, 2017 and published on January 20th. 31st 2019 by Sony the patent details a process that could run software from legacy devices perfectly on a new device it notes that components like a CPU may be faster in new devices but the architecture might not match closely through the previous uh, to the previous hardware so the trick the legacy software to work with new hardware and mimics legacy devices diagrams including the patent also suggests the system spoofs processor IDs to facilitate this well that's awesome so obviously with PS5 and PS4 you assume they're going to be very simple simple PS3 is the PS3 is the the bitch yeah Yeah. so that because that is the different CPU that's that cell processor Mm. so I if they can work out how to trick it into running PS3s then they can just go yeah he's everything I mean with with Technology, I'm sure it's possible. Well, I know there are PS3 emulators out and about, on, like on on the PCs, mm. but apparently it's very difficult to emulate. Yeah. So it depends what they're doing. Like, a, did it mention that they, you can use your own discs no. or is it Hasn't online? Or? Yet. Okay. Nope. Um, but pretty safe bet they'll have it next year. That would be dumb not to. Be dumb not to. Bloody oath. Uh, speaking of next gen, Sony is apparently having its first party studios focus on PS5 game development, but we may not see the fruits of that labour for some time. Industry an- analyst Daniel Ahmad, same guy from the first news article, who has recently reported inside information ahead of official confirmation, took to reset error to explain that quote. In general, most of the focus for Sony's first party stu- first party o First Patio. First Party Studios is on PS5 right now. It is still early to talk about next year, but I imagine we'll hear some whispers come out of GDC. He added that PS5 dev kits are out there, and he's heard positive things about it. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's one of these things, though. Like if they, if if every if all of them are using it now, if not a big majority of first party studios, we could still see it within a year, two years. Like that, that doesn't mm. guarantee it's coming out this year. If yeah. anything, it guarantees yeah. it in the next two years. Yeah, but also, I. Like, I'll put money on The Last of Us 2 being both gen. Yeah. I, 
I don't think you know it, might be, I mean? it might not be the same at launch, but one of those no, things, like, here it is, PS4, and then yeah. PS5 drops within a year, and, like, hey, there it That's is again. That's exactly The Last of Us 2. Exactly. Well, um, I said Last of Us, as, yeah, remastered. Yeah, the re- yeah. remaster was, like, a year later when PS... Yeah. Correct. Um, but, yeah, it's happening. Fucking it's all happening. Dude, I, I, I am... It, it's, it's kind of boring to keen. read, yeah. but it's important information. Yeah, it's one of those things I enjoy reading it because then my brain starts to... What are the possibilities yeah, yeah I'm like drawing red <laughs> strings and stuff and oh man, always I can't. sunny thing yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pepe Silvia <laughs> uh, number four Ubisoft has just announced the details for the Division 2's upcoming private beta which I will be a part of Hopefully running part from of uh, Feb 7 to 11th the private beta preload is set to begin February 6th at American time for everybody players who have access to the private beta will have the chance to play two main missions and five side missions Ubisoft also announced the private beta will have first hands on with end game content and one invaded mission the private beta will also include the PvPVE gameplay in one of the new dark zones and PvP gameplay in the skirmish mode the private beta will also allow players to explore the eastern part of the open world and upgrade to level cap of 7 that's a lot to do in three fucking days. Are you going to go nuts it's on it? a hell of a lot more than what another beta we've been playing yeah. offers. Yeah. Um, well, what is Thursday through, for us, it's Friday through Sunday. Yeah. I'll be going pretty hard, hopefully, the weekend. Yeah. And then that'll be the main topic of next week's conversation. Mm. Uh, so first, get first excited for that. Because that's, uh, we sick. Yeah. There's just, they're, you're putting a lot out there. Yeah. I think, it, so is it just by having a pre order you get, you get access? Uh, at the moment, you pre order. You get access. You can uh, sign up on the UB website to maybe get access. That's Apparently, you can buy, spend a dollar and buy a beta from somewhere else online. Yeah, well, I'm pretty you can keen. Pre-order I might just get and then just cancel it. Yeah, well, because I was just, I reached out to Ubi. They got mm. no response yet. But granted, as I said it was a Friday. I might I might just do it. Yeah, I mean, you pre-order it and like I said, if you don't like it, you cancel it. No big deal. Uh, your PS Plus games for February 2019. For well, that, that, that was barely enough gush from you from Division 2. Well, because we're going to talk about say? it again. Oh, are we? Okay, it's all right. Then we're all good. And possibly again. Yes. So, yeah. Uh, for PS4, you'll get Four Honor and Hitman the Complete First Season. For PS3, you'll get Metal Gear Solid 4 Gun to the Patriots. Oh, fuck yeah. For PS3, you'll get Dive Kick, also PS Vita. For PS4 and Vita, you'll get Gun House and Rogue Aces. I don't know what they are. Um, for Honor? It's still being supported. I'm positive Foreign like has been on there before. Maybe. And I'm positive uh, Hitman's been on there before too. Might have been an older Hitman? No, I'm pretty sure because it was the. F- I remember it distinctly being the first isn't this, season. Isn't this the last month for y- PS3 and Vita? Yeah, and then everything goes away next month. Mm. Surprising. Next month surprising will be go hard. Like, don't get me wrong. Metal Gear Solid 4 is an awesome one to go out on. It's a fucking fantastic game. But I do wonder. Uh, yeah, like I. You thought they'd go harder. I thought they'd go real hard. There's probably nothing else for him to give out at this That's point. Good point. It's been a very, very long time. Like, what else is nope, there? Neither of me says Paul. Oh, I don't believe you, Paul. <laughs> that is fake news, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> fake news on for the players. Uh, your top selling <laughs> game for the week ending 27th of January. Because I'm positive I have like Hitman in my library. I didn't buy it. It might be an, I don't know. Starting at number 10, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, number 9, Spider-Man, number 8, FIFA 19, number 7, Just Cause 4, number 6, Black Ops 4, number 5, Ace Combat 7, number 4, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, number 3, Red Dead Redemption 2, number 2, South Park The Fractured Butthole, number 1, Resident Evil 2. Fuck yeah, Resident Evil 2. And the reason South Park Fractured Butthole was like number 2, bucks. it was $9 at EB Games oh. for like three weeks. At EB Games? Yeah. It's like $9. Oh. So I guess... Did I get numbers from EB Games? Well, it's every game that's sold in Australia. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, and for the quick bits, do you have anything more to add to that? Uh, go, by Re- go by Resident Evil. Okay. I won't. Quick bits. <laughs> uh, Ubisoft has publicly apologised for a Division 2 private beta email some players considered to be offensive because, of course, they did. Ubisoft sent out a promotional email with the subject line which read, Come see what a real government shutdown looks like in the private beta. Within the hour, <laughs> Ubisoft sent out an email apology. It is fucking hilarious. You sent me the picture and they died. They, have, they should have just doubled down on yeah. it, man. Because, I mean, it's what's happening. Like, the government is shut down in the Division. Yep. That's the whole kind of thing. So it, it fits in the narrative of the game world and it's a good little, like, fourth wall, like, huh? Huh? 
but obviously people complain. It's this outrage culture and everyone having to apologize for everything. Mm. Fuck them. They should just ran with it. I thought it was incredible. I, that like, I that is it. exceptional marketing. Like, like remember when um, fucking Wolfenstein 2 came out and Bethesda had the whole campaign about punching Nazis? Mm. They didn't apologize. And that's way, like, topically offensive or worse, quote yeah. unquote, yeah, like, than this. This is just a sentence and it's yeah. dope. It was fantastic. It's probably done better, more for their marketing than a lot of just regular marketing yeah. has done for them. Um, props. If anyone from UB is like watching this. Shane. Shane. I don't, may have been you, may not have been hey, you. No, because they were fired. Or can you like, oh. oh. Whoever did that was Get out, really? The report is they were fired, but there's. Please don't be Shane. Stuff. We love you, Shane. <laughs> 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 uh, Sony revealed that as of 31st of December 2018, the PS Plus service has a whopping 36.3 million members. That's interesting, but that's less than... It's about 40%. About, it's about 40%. Yeah, 30, 40%. Yeah. It's still a lot. So it's a lot of people not playing multiplayer. A lot of people don't like it. Mm. I hate fun. multiplayer, so I get it. Uh, and PS4 software beta 6.5 invites being sent out. There's no new features, but rumour has it you will be able to swap the functionality of X and Circle. Oh, woo! Because well, apparently in Japan, yes, that's how it is. Yeah, no, if you remember a lot of the games... The way, um, sorry, the way Nintendo has it, because Nintendo, the, the right button is your A and your B, A and then yeah. And yeah. So for those who don't remember, uh, back in the PS1 days, this was a common practice. For it to do for to do this so the way the buttons were laid out was like circle was accept x was to deny so a lot of japanese games on ps1 were never remapped so you would mm -hmm. have to trick your brain a little bit to go yeah. that way and yeah so it's just more of like with the imagery of each of the of the triangle the square the cross and the circle all had a meaning yeah you know, square being uh like inventory reload and, tri and triangle being i think it's like swap like weapons map or something normally but yeah yeah no but yes so weird i get it totally understandable i'll never do it i'll never do it but hey i'm sure there's people isn't there that name change beta coming through or what or when's that no idea the yeah. beta's already happening the beta's been happening for like two months oh that's sweet. yeah it mustn't be going well because we haven't heard anything more about yeah, it yeah like, like well the beta's there who's changed the name like uh three people i'm sure a lot of people have and they're probably under like an nda or something like yeah because their whole trophy exploded. progress has been yeah, wiped. Explode in the background. <laughs> yeah. uh, but that's it for the news, Ryan, as we have a chat to the players about the private and public Anthem demo. Yeah, so the Anthem, uh, at the time of recording, the, the public Anthem beta is going demo. ahead. Demo. I'm going to use the terminology My bad. correct. The correct is demo. They refer to it as a demo. Mistake. And uh, last week, there was the VIP demo, which you got a hold of somehow. Sure did. And uh, I have been spending the, this weekend with it. I've probably put like three-ish hours into it, four-ish hours yeah, I think maybe. I'm, I've been probably about six yeah. in total. The last day of the, the demo last week, I just saw on Reddit, someone's like, if you're on Xbox, you can just download it and play it. I'm like, ha, whatever. You could, and I did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, only for about an hour and a half before the service went down because it was yeah. the end of it. Um, so, where do you want to start with this? Uh, okay, well, let's do it this way. So, this demo is more about showcasing the gameplay of Anthem. So, you do get thrown in at level 10, and there's like a mission you have to go collect some shit. So, you don't really get a big hunk of story in this. It's just, here's what it plays like, here's what you, you're going to be doing, here's the beats you're going to hit. Like, uh... <laughs> so there's all like there's all these little lineups here it's like you this and this so you, here's the mission here's a free play here's mm -hmm. like a raid or esque thing almost a strike a strike yes yeah. Yeah. stronghold they're called Strong, yes stronghold they're called yeah. so uh yeah i'll let you dive in first because you're the one that's probably out of the two of us because that there are a lot of comparisons here to the like of Destiny and Destiny 2. Of course. And you spent way more time with Destiny than I have. So I'll go you first and then I'll mm -hmm. back up with my uninformed opinion. So, game core gameplay is good. Yeah. It's fun. The, the flying controls on console are really streamlined. They're really comfortable. They all make sense. Apparently on PC it's quite a different story. Apparently <laughs> flying with mouse and keyboard is not really great. Because PC sucks anyway. Because PC mouse and keyboards are designed for like publisher and Office works man. and secretaries. Like, that's it. And anti Norton antivirus. <laughs> uh, but the gameplay is good. The gameplay is fun. Mm. Uh, but I can't say it's tight. It feels very to me. The game, the gunplay, is very floaty. Like there doesn't feel like there's any meat 
mm. behind it. You know what I mean? Like in Destiny, you shoot enemies like, thuk, 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 and you like you feel the impact. You get shot like, whoop, whoop. you're like, oh, I'm getting shot right now. Whereas in this, like, I'm getting shot and it's like, beep, 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 beep. dead. <laughs> like, what the fuck killed me? <laughs> that, yeah, it feels very floaty and it's also very hard at, on on the Xbox One S. Performance isn't great. Uh, in frame weight frame weight no frame weight in the old frame weight <laughs> that's how I imagine PC players will be more frame weight bad <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't get 60 frames over 52 <laughs> the frame rate's quite bad and um, it makes precision quite difficult because mm. it's I'm getting 15 20 frames and it's really choppy really you can, so you can feel like you're not you're someone that doesn't really notice frame rate so you don't you can't tell between t- 30 if and if 60 if it's 30 or above I whatever so if, but if, if, I, if you're noticing it, that's bad. Yeah, and it, it is quite bad, which led me to using more of my abilities, which you should be, because they're yeah. off cooldown very quickly. But just because they I, I chose the storm mostly, the lightning ice one, because it's just like an AOM. It's like, oh, about there. <laughs> yeah, I did it. <laughs> um, the game world is nice. Mm. It's it's definitely a fantasy world. But to me, it just it feels kind of lifeless. Like I know you didn't, you don't get to play from the start of the game, so you don't really know what's going on or why or any of that kind of stuff. But it just, it, as you're flying around, to me, and it just felt kind of bland. Mm. Like there's no personality in the world. I mean, like if you do the Destiny comparison, which I'm sure people are sick of hearing, but it's gonna happen. Um, as you're running through the world, you're like, whoa, like whoa, look at that. You know, what happened there? What happened there? You know, there's everywhere you look, there's kind of interesting landmarks and structures that kind of tell a story mm. of the area that you're in. Whereas I found the small area we got to free play in before getting that out of bounds message was just, uh, there just wasn't much happening. There's was water, there's grass, there's trees, a um, couple of old buildings here and there. But it just felt kind of lifeless, mm. really, to me. Do you have a similar sense? Yeah, my opinion. That? My opinion is very similar. I, I, in the same, as I'm playing, I was playing on the PS4 Pro. I had no major hiccups. I had a hard crash, as I mentioned earlier, just the once. But in terms of frame rate, frame rate seems fine. It hasn't really chugged a lot for me yet, which is good. Mm. Uh, so it, it plays pretty well for me. Now, granted, uh, I have been playing it the, just the missions and only in private. So initially, when I first booted up, I wasn't paying attention and uh, skipped the tutorial. And so I was playing public. And then I had mm. to go and do dad things. So I just left the control. Then I'm like, it's going to take a minute. I'll do it. But came back. Mission had been done for me. Mooch. You're a moocher. afk So I came back. I'm like, what the fuck is this? At the so, end screen. Yeah. And it's like, congratulations. Mission's done. I'm like, Yay! I didn't do shit. So what would happen is they, like the the rest of the squad would do whatever. They would move to the next area, and then it goes, "Oh, your party's too far away." And mm. so you could just carry someone through it. Yeah, literally, that, that's how it is. Like Destiny, of the same thing. In, in that, when you're doing your strikes and yeah. all that kind of stuff, um, but you can turn off the matchmaking. Yeah, and which I did. And the second that I did, I thoroughly enjoyed it so much more. So same as you mentioned, the gameplay is tight. Like it's tight as in it's solid like the core the foundation there is really good like it's 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 also nothing groundbreaking i'm feeling aside from the flying and like the iron man-esque suit and the verticality of the levels are really impressive so even even with destiny where you did have some rocket jumping that sort of stuff Mm. it still it still felt like this is the baseline you can maybe get to here maybe get to here Mm. where in anthem like when you enter an area like you're jumping in you're like it feels noticeably higher in terms of, of height mm. which makes sense but with I'm unsure I kind of just followed the mission structure okay. uh, the mission structure of these ones are the same are just the standard go kill a bunch of fucking bullet sponges and then move to the next area kill some more bullet sponges initiate a button that'll bring more dudes in that's these games like, and that's you know these what I games mean? see that like I'm certainly someone that doesn't I don't think these games are entirely for me anymore because mm. I want to play them single player um, I but the grind the the I love the... I'm, I'm a grinder. I love Grind is fun. Like last night, I was playing with podcasts and I was just chipping away and doing what I had to do. And that part's fun and I really enjoyed that. Um, but without context of the story, it may, the gameplay could have been the best gameplay I've ever seen in my life. But without the context of the story for me personally, it gave me no reason to enjoy the gameplay. Mm. So I understand that this demo is designed around a specific purpose. Therefore, they're not going to give you a bunch of story beats. Yeah. But 
I wish I knew what was going on. Yeah. I wish I knew why it walks like when you when the when you start the demo, you're in like what looks like to be a, a street from Aladdin, you know, <laughs> and you're just walking around, and then next yeah. thing you're in like some fantasy epic as Iron Man. Yeah, I'm sure all that'll be explained upon release. I want it to obviously. be obviously. Yeah, um, but the 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 javelins are cool. They, the customization out of the box is pretty fucking huge. Mm. You can do a lot with all your paint jobs and, you know, just swapping your abilities in and out and your combat has the the detonate the primers and the detonators to do really cool things with your teammates. If you play with teammates, you know, someone can prime them and you can use a detonator. It does all cool stuff. Yeah, so speaking of, the, of like, the, the special moves and whatnot, like, I did find myself uh, using my abilities way more than I thought I would. Mm. As in, like, you I run... You pretty much use them on cooldown. Yeah, I run in, like, pim pim pim, like, do a little bit of shooting, and then I'll jump, whip a thing, throw a missile, and just keep going. And then I just... Like, I did feel myself doing a lot of s- what felt like smooth transitions, like smooth gameplay mm. between them all. Jump up and hover there. Like, jump, bit. hover, do it, and then rock it over the other side, flank him, and then just, yeah. you know, launch missiles, and then unload the big, big missile burst thingy that my... That I just, You're playing a Colossus? I didn't change it. I was whatever was okay. there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <coughs> but on the combat, I, fa- I, f- I found the, vi- the visibility is quite bad. You know what I mean? What do you mean? Like... In, in the free play area, there's like a world, there's your world events and mm. all that kind of stuff. And the enemies, I just found they're hard to, they don't stand out. True. They don't sit, the enemies don't have any kind of personality. Like if you go back to the Destiny comparison again, like you can go, they're the Fallen, they're the Hive. Mm. What's the other one? The fallen. The, the re the Fallen. Come on, yeah. And at, from really far away, you can go, that's Fallen. They stand out. They're mm. unique. They all have they they have their own very unique designs. Whereas I couldn't tell you what any of these enemies look like. Well, they're like. called the Dominion. Well, yeah, because they said it eight hundred fucking times. <laughs> but I yes. know what they're called, but I couldn't tell you what one looks like. No, because you walk in there and you see a Dominion that's about this big. And it, it's like this big with a little red arrow, and you're like, I'll shoot in that general direction. Yeah, and anytime you get close to them, they kind of just start beating the shit out of you, so yeah. you never really get to see them. And they, granted, they have like these frost giant looking things. Yeah, with and the there's, shield. And there's floaty ones, yeah. which just looks like a little guy but floating. Snipers. Like I imagine yeah. there is there will be more explanation. Maybe some cutscenes in the actual mm. game that sort of gives you more mm. about who they are and why they give a shit. I don't really give a I'm, fuck all about I'm feeling their... is I'm just mowing down yeah. these Dominion. I'm like, who the fuck are they? Where are they I don't give a from? fuck about their story. Yeah. It's just the the visibility and their just personality of being an AI is mm. just, to me, non-existent. Just, they don't look... They don't look cool. Yeah, because if, if it was... If literally it wasn't without those little red arrows above their head, I wouldn't see them. That's I what I was getting at, yeah? Yeah. Um, but that's neither here or there. Maybe, you know, that... That could also that could, that's a like a, a re paint job or maybe a bit vibrancy compared to the to the background slight touch that can happen between now and hmm. for release which is what like a twenty days away twenty yeah, nineteen roughly, days away uh, yeah, but. but like I said having said that customization is very very good yeah lots of unique different paint jobs and finishes and all that you can get destiny the one you shaders see, that, and all that that kind would of be stuff. You know that that would be the big thing for me because like when I booted the game up the first time and I go into that mission with all those people, like we're, we're all the same. Yeah, we're all the orange and black fucking spring leg dude. Yeah, but then there's not only different colors you can do; you can get different chest plates, different yeah, helmet no, th- shapes. No, so, I'm, so the point I'm making is like initially I was like, oh, that's kind of fucking boring. Oh. But like then diving into all the customization, I'm like, nah, okay, I'm feeling yeah. this. Like I can make me, I can present my, you know, like the I'm amount of Iron Man lost. paint jobs I saw was a little yeah. bit lame. Like, come on, man. Yeah. There's always a, I did see a fluoro, fluoro pink dude, though. Mm. He's cool. I'd make a nice popsy purple. Oh, of course. Oh, speaking okay. of, you didn't, you didn't watch the Royal Rumble, did you? No. Fucking everyone was wearing popsy purple. Oh, really? Yeah, it was really cool. Oh, wow. uh, the bar came out in, like, purple jackets and kilts. I was like, that's very kind of you. Yeah. The Iconics, the two Australian women, they come out yeah. in popsy purple as well. Yeah, you're already infiltrating. Yeah, someone got the message across, and they were <laughs> kind enough to all wear purple for us. It's very, very nice of them. But yeah, so, like, I'm sure I'll deck my dude out in purple and... All yeah, that sort of stuff. So, did you finish the triple threat mission? I did. When you were that actually puzzle there. was a bag of dicks. Fucking infuriating. So, what they do in these uh, strongholds, which are instances, dungeons, mm. whatever you want to call them, uh, there are some light puzzle elements to some parts, which is okay. Destiny has them too mm. in their raids and all that kind of stuff. But I, the the one at the end of triple threat was there are three pillars, 
and you have to there so you, you're, in like a, you're in like a, a giant circle arena and the entrance you come in across so you come in say at the north position in the south position there is uh a the item you go like get. the item you go the, the monolith or something. monolith or like a, something like that and then underneath where you enter so in the north the east and the west position there are three giant portal-esque looking things mm. that emit a color and you have to change the color mm. to get the right pattern to initiate the monolith or mm. whatever the fuck was called to be open 15 minutes i knew what was happening I Googled it. because the, the the right color to change it to is somewhere in that area you got to find the symbol on the wall or the roof it's you have the yellow you're like okay well this one has to be yellow took me about five minutes to figure that out because I saw a red one. I'm like, oh, so that's got to be red. Okay, cool. Well, then I'll go around and I'll do the rest of them. But I was going around, my dipshit teammates were changing because I had no idea. But behind me, changing all the portals around. And I'm, I got on my mouth, my dudes, stop touching it. I got this. All right? But no one must have had, everyone must have turned their voice chat off because no one could talk. So infuriating because I knew what was happening and yep. I knew what to do. No one had the voice chat, so I couldn't explain to them what to do. And is, is, trying, is there no text? There's no text chat. Apparently, there's a new law in America where any game released after January 31st with text chat has to have a different rating or there has to be okay. some disclaimer or something. Interesting. So a lot of these online PC games aren't having text. I don't think Destiny even has text chat. Oh. I, think, well, I might be wrong with that. But that's the reasoning I saw for Anthem. Um very I cool. couldn't communicate with them and I'm like shooting at the symbols they fly past me like tuk, 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 shooting the, I'm like look there's the yellow that's the yellow okay I'm trying to communicate without words and it just 15 minutes of me just running around and them just running behind me and undoing all the progress and it was just so this is why other people are jerks in a party of friends that would have taken a minute done awesome easy but without being able to communicate with your team which you can but a lot of people don't have their headsets and mics on for this kind of stuff and unfortunately my party at the time didn't have that mm. and I just I couldn't there was no way for me to explain to them what to do and it was I was getting so angry I was like what the fuck are you doing <laughs> and Alex is like I don't swear in front of my kid yeah, often that's right. I try I try not to yeah but he, he doesn't understand it yeah he hasn't repeated it yet yeah um, but I was, I was just like what the fuck are you doing stop changing it you fucking idiot <laughs> <laughs> and Alex is looking at me like what Oh, cause I'm like Alex, play Anthem. It'll be fun. And he's and he's watching me play it. Like, no, that doesn't look no, fun. That's horrible. <laughs> so I don't know to do that. Shit. <laughs> um, but you know what I mean. So yeah. uh, after once everyone's done it once, I'm sure, you know, it's a given. Yeah. But there will be, I imagine, a lot of infuriating times. Yeah. So even myself, because I went in there and and I did it myself. Um, I had to Google it. Mm. I couldn't find like because it's like there's this little fucking piddly, yeah. piddly red yeah. light. And I'm like. Wait. I couldn't find it. The only yeah. the only thing that gave it away to me once was when I was standing in the archway, like just before one of the things, mm. and the pillar was slightly yellow. I'm like, was it yellow? Mm. That's the, it. The closer you get to the light, the 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 image of the portal comes into view a lot mm. more. So if you go right up close to that yellow light, you'll see the actual big yellow, and you're like, okay, well that has to be yellow. Yeah. So that took me a lot longer than I anticipated. <laughs> once I got it, it felt really uneventful. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, you did it. Go pick it up. Yeah, it's done. Then take it back to your friend. Oh, yeah. there you go, friend. I didn't like their friend. He's annoying. Yeah. Very annoying. Yeah, see... Th but th this whole game hinges on endgame. That's yeah. what all these games hinge on endgame. And a lot of the time it feels more like Diablo than Destiny in terms of just waves of enemies. Lots of them, like unnamed, you're just mowing them down. Endgame. So at endgame, because the NDA for the endgame got lifted yesterday or the day before so I watched a couple of videos on it you're gonna have three strongholds uh, daily legendary missions so mm -hmm. every day you get a new legendary mission to do and your free play that's it at launch now the way the difficulty goes you can have uh, normal hard grand easy, easy normal hard grandmaster one two and three it's like as you get more powerful, you can access the higher difficulty to do the content on the higher difficulty to get the gear to do it on the next difficulty, much like Diablo, more than yeah. Destiny. Um, but at launch, like if you only got the three strongholds and then your daily legendary missions, which you just go out into the world and do the thing, it's not a lot. They have said raids are coming and obviously they're going to be expanding on it. But at launch, that just doesn't 
seem like a lot. See, uh, but we also don't know how long the campaign is either. Yeah, so the big difference between like how you and I approach this, because you love that grind, so that end game is right up your alley. Mm. For me, without knowing what the story is, I don't give a shit. Mm. It's like, see, even though Division, right? Division is the same, very similar setup, as in like there's the world and the end game being the Dark Zone, which is kind of the open area. Yeah, added a lot more end game, it is. Yeah, so the point I'm making is yeah. like, the story of the Division alone is enough to keep me in. Very interesting. It's awesome. The Destiny, awesome. Mm. Like the, the the groundwork that the sorry the groundwork they lay is not me like oh, I need to keep pushing through this. Do you know in Destiny Two your mm. base of operations is the White House? That's what you upgrade and expand throughout the game. So cool. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> but what I found like in terms of world building, like the Division One, story through the missions. Actually, how much is the Division? Twelve bucks. Oh, I might pick it up. <laughs> The story through the missions is okay in the Division mm. 1. You know, you start a mission, it's like, oh, this is happening, and, you know, you're like, yeah, okay. But it's the audio logs and the phones that you find around the world as this is all yeah. happening, and the the performance of the actors doing those, you know, terrified, panicked phone calls and all of that, that's what you're like, yeah, this place got fucked, man. And it, that that kind of world building is incredible. Mm. Because you're out and about, you're doing a mission, you know, you got to fix the water supply because Jojo's got... <laughs> oh, Jojo. Jojo's got poo-poo water. Oh, poor Jojo. And <laughs> then you find, you know, someone's phone and you listen to it and you're like, oh, man, you know, she had, you know, loving parents who were out of the country and they're worried about her because she's by herself. And then you can find an echo to, like, go and follow her story along for a little bit. Very, very cool. We don't know if Anthem's going to have anything like that, whether the story's just going to be delivered just through campaign missions mm. you know destiny has this grimoire where you can you know you can go in and read small Jesus fuck it's, it's 70 bucks on the psn what is division really yeah. <laughs> that's fucked is that the one with all the dlc though no, it's the standard version um, but yeah we don't know how they're going to expand the world and how they're going to you know get the lore going but there are two very different kinds of people in these games like you said people that play it for the lore they love the story and then there are people who just like get me to the max level I want to grind that fucking loot and then there yeah. are the ones in the middle who are like cool story you know I, I think I'm more in the middle but I love the grind Yeah, the but I like having a good story to that story's got to sell me otherwise I'll bounce real quick because um, as I mentioned before and I've got and like I've complained endlessly about the, the whole bullet sponge enemies but mm. it's something that you know you mentioned and like just common sense I'm like yeah fuck that's kind of true but, but you're like how else do you differentiate between a boss and a regular person I'm like yeah, yeah true apparently they've alleviated it somehow in Division 2 yeah. I don't know what to be talking about Anthem because Anthem is very very bullet spongy mm. and apparently on Grandmaster 3 because a lot of the guys who were got invited to play it got to get their footage and all that they got to play on the top end game level and like a boss's health is increased by 9,000% ew what? but that's just how these games are man you know yeah it's 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 not a boss if you and your team can blast it in 4 seconds you know what I mean it's, where's the grandness to it mm. um, whereas the division did go overboard apparently they've uh, found unique ways to alleviate that in the in the next one yeah. it was more like you know rather than just shooting at you like you have to initiate traps and all this like like ex yeah. rather than just going do 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 because for me, the reason I played Anthem is because I can only do I can only do one. I can do Anthem or the Division Two. I can't do both. Yeah, I don't I have time do to do both. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you know, with the Anthem beta or demo now, and then the Division ba Two beta next week, um, I'll get to make my choice. But I'm just really not feeling it. Yeah, having playing and having played Anthem now, I'm like, no, I'm prop I'm thinking of the Division. But even then, after I play the, the, the if we do play the private beta next week, well, mm. you will, if I can so I swing it as well, um, it'll be that moment of, uh, that'll give me that minute to decide. And I guarantee yeah. I'll play it either. But. And I mean, I understand why people are liking it. And my my not feeling it isn't due to the performance issues because these games always have performance issues. <clears throat> I think all the backlash for this came from them calling it a demo instead of a beta. It's a fucking beta. Yeah. It's not but a isn't demo. It, people always make the same bullshit when they say, oh, beta should be called a demo. Fuck yeah. all of you, man. It doesn't matter what it's called. It's it's just you're trying it out. Yeah. It's, that's they need a new title. That's the semantics. They need a new you know. title. Just like a come try it. Yeah, it's just called the Anthem fucking try it. Come try it weekend. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, technical issues aside, the general the gameplay loop that it's going to have, or from what I've gathered, it's going to have from the demo. Not quite what I'm looking for in this kind of game. Yeah, I agree. So what I did do is I did reach out to the Pop C community and ask them to tell us what they're thinking of the Anthem beta as they're playing right now. We've got a good handful of we're responses. We're going to get shat on by a community because we're like, meh. Probably. Uh, <laughs> Kyle, old big crispy biscuit, he let, he says, I feel the only thing this thing has going for it is the, oh look, I'm Iron Man feeling. It'll be another shelf dust to collect like Destiny, which this game, by the way, feels like a copy of, which I agree with. Another bought Sponge Boar Fest. Thank you, next. Oh, nice bit, of Ariana, nice bit of Ariana Grande in there. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, old Blair jumps in. He says, I jumped into this yesterday. It wasn't bad. A bit clunky of a start. Overall, I can see how it may be similar to the first Destiny if you have a bit of a crew to play with. I'll jump in again this afternoon, but I'm not sure at this stage whether I'll be picking this up for sure. Jess, our lovely community manager, did say she's been playing it on PC and she thought the visuals were gorgeous and I enjoyed the gameplay and the lack of PvP. However, I was not a fan of uh, having to do everything in a squad. Same issues that I had. I'm not sure if the full game will give single player missions, whatever, whatever. Turns out, same as me, didn't pay attention. They have said... Because Max, <coughs> Max did jump in and go, change the privacy settings. Yeah, you can play... They have reiterated many times you can play the whole, uh, at least the campaign solo. Hmm. End game might be a different story. Don't know. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, she also added, without having the tutorials, I found it very confusing to navigate the menus and figure out the controls. I think that once the story is implemented, there will be a lot more playability to it. I mean, it is fun, but it feels lacking. Yeah, but she's also aware that it is just a demo. Mm. And Benji said, it was cute. It was cute. Uh, not that sure. sounds like a massive diss. <laughs> <laughs> it's it was, cute, it's by cute. Way. It is cute. Like... It does sound like Benji, though. <laughs> <laughs> not sure about the catch-up mechanic in group play, which we had an issue with when one person gets to the objective. Not really a fan, but otherwise, it looks pretty, and I'm pr and it it is and it is very fun. Interceptor is the best javelin. Looks pretty, feels lifeless. Correct. That should be the slogan. Yeah. For me. Yeah, for that's, that's like my opinion, man. That's the pop culturist. <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty, uh, in internally <laughs> useless. <laughs> now, look, it's going to be interesting to see. Like, these games always, always, the first few months are like, we've got nothing to do, we're bored, you know, this fucking sucks. And then the next year, it's <clears> like, there is so much to do in this game. And now. that's the other risk by going PvP only. This is the same PvE problem. PvE only. Sorry, PvE only. Same issue that, that Fallout's having is that what do you do then like pvp is like a lot of people just booting on each other is content in on yeah, itself yeah but how you the game has too many variables to do any kind of balancing oh no no once again that's when you start getting For deeper P pvp balance yes 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 um no, from what I've seen, mostly everyone's pretty positive that it doesn't have... Because it means they oh, can keep... I fucking love PvE. PvE is my shit. Because what it means is they can keep fuckers. balancing PvE around keeping it fun with big numbers. Something can be like crazy fucking stupid OP. And it's okay because you're not obliterating other players. Yeah. You're just killing enemies. That's what I like. And that's what I liked about everyone bullshit about Fallout for it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I think it was mm. much better because, what it's you know aside from bandits and shit if you all came from the same vault you're not gonna shoot each other yeah you know what i mean like you should be working together and i guess there's some story element here if you're all part of the same community or culture yeah. that you're not gonna shoot each other i'm sure there'll be an expansion at some point where the enemies are like rogue javelin people yeah totally Guar guaranteed because in the division, there's uh, the because you're the second wave of, of division agents. Mm. The first wave went missing, but a lot of the enemies, are like rogue first wave agents who came in and tried to help them, were like, "Where the f why isn't the government fucking doing anything? Fuck this! I'm a rogue agent." Rogue, rogue. That's what they call you in the dark zone too. When you, that's what they call you in <laughs> yeah, the dark yeah, zone when you kill. Rogue. Yeah, you go rogue. Um, oh, did you want to tell you before we jump in? wrap it up and then do you want to tell you a little division story about you playing with the friends and oh yeah so I was in the I was in the dark zone and it's from the moment you step in it's intense because yeah. Isaac which is your AI you know you know water received over here you know your AI talk as soon as you open the door there's like the blue and, and what's he say you walk in he's like transmissions jammed emergency backup booting up and you're like oh shit <laughs> <laughs> and the, oh yeah, I always found so the, 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 anyone that doesn't know the way it works, you find your loot in there, but it's contaminated. The only way you can keep it is to extract it via a helicopter. You have to call the helicopter in with a flare. Everyone can see the helicopter's coming. They can kill you and Jack. If you die, you drop all your loot. Or if you tie it onto the helicopter, someone can go and 
and cut it off and like run off with your loot. So it's it's pretty intense, especially when you see other people around who you like. Like, are you, are you fucking looking at me? Are you sizing me up? Or are you like, yeah, let's play together? So I was playing with this other dude called Da Black Guy 89 or something. <laughs> and he was getting shot. And I'm like, okay, I'll shoot two. And we're like, this, we kept, I could see how come I kept giving me the side eye. Because I kept giving him the side eye. Because we're all like, like, what are you? And then another person came up as well. And we're all like doing it together. Just like killing enemies and picking up loot. And you can see when they're someone picks up Luke because they, you know, they bend over like, oh, he got something. Yeah. And you hear the sound like, blink, when like his <laughs> epic's like, he just got an epic. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so we ended up at an extraction point and the black guy shot the flare up and I'm like, oh, fuck, we doing this? Because when the flare goes up, waves of enemies come as well, uh, which makes it pretty hard when you're solo. I've never been able to extract anything because I fucking suck. I'm yeah, like, I never, I've never Three tried other anything. guys here, we might be able to do it. So then we all ran up and we all tied our loot on and we all backed up. One guy stood there a bit too long. And me and the black guy were like, oi. I put our guns in it because it was like, is he going to jack our loot or what? And he backed off. We're all waiting. We killed the enemies and we're all waiting for the helicopter. But we're all waiting in just enough cover, just in case. <laughs> like, the black guy's on top of a truck over there. The other guy's behind a shipping <gasps> container. I'm behind a concrete block. And we're all wait- We're all cool. But we're all just like, just in case. And the helicopter came and took our stuff. It was all fine. We, I mean, I said, we gave him a wave and we all went. But it's the atmosphere and the oh, intensity. Oh, didn't you get it. jacked at the end of one, one as well? Oh, yeah, there was another one I got jacked. Yeah. And that sucked. It, with another guy. I'm like, yeah, we're cool. And then he uh, killed me and then cut my loot off and was like, ah, oh, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 then a boss walks around. And like, <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's the atmosphere and the intensity of it, mm. which just makes it such a unique experience that I'm Which very, very yep. keen to get back into. Yeah. Especially now because there's three Dark Zones in, in Division 2. Two of them are... Um, they normalise your stats to make it kind of an even playing field. Good. And then Big the, fan th- of that. At, at the third one rotates. It's called. It's got a unique name and that's the one where it's like you get the best gear in here but normalisation is off. Yeah. Like you go in with your best stuff and you hope for the best and someone's not more geared than you. So it's a bit more balanced, I think. Yeah. Anyway. Because I, I have the biggest problem is because I don't, I don't have the, the time or the luxury to spend just going nuts on a game like that. Mm. I always get left behind. Mm. And if the balancing is... With the normalisation. Yeah, that's yeah. that's a big thing. If I'm level me. 30 and you're level 24 and we go into one of the no- normalised dark zones, everyone's on an even playing field. I, I like can help that you a get, lot. I help you get some loot. I like that so, a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah. And let them know what you thought of the Anthem beta. Try them in those comments below or head over to the Facebook group where we hit bullshit all about the games over 10. That's facebook.com uh, slash groups slash the pop culturist. But uh, Division 2 and Anthem are still quite a while away. There are some games that are coming this week in a section we call Come Into the Players. Oh, Jesus. Uh, new really games for Feb 5, 2019. Uh, it's... There's a lot, and it's not good. Access denied. <laughs> PS4, PS Vita, Digital Cross by Ages of Mages, The Last Keeper. PS4 Digital Away. Journey to the Unexpected. PS4 Digital Crisis VR Brigade. Crisis Brigade VR. <laughs> PS VR Digital Elk Simulator. PS4 oh. Digital. Challenging elk hunting. Hunting taken <laughs> to another level. Hunting one of three world venues to in- to include the United States, Canada, or New Zealand in search of trophy elk. Oh, so you didn't get to... You, Who's you, going to be the next elk hunting legend? Oh, so you didn't get to be an elk. No. I want to be the elk. That's false advertising. That is wrong. Evo Land Legendary Edition PS4 Digital. Fear of Bugs. The Fear Experience PSVR Digital. Glass Masquerade PS4 Digital. God Eater 3 PS4 Digital and Retail. The Major's Tale PSVR Digital. Melbet's World PS4 Digital. Monster Energy Supercross the Official Video Game 2 Ooh. PS4 Digital and Retail. Pipe Push Paradise, PS4 Digital. Pro Fishing Simulator, PS4 Digital and Retail. And Rage back. Room, PS4, PSVR Digital. Riot, Civil Unrest, PS4 Digital and Retail. Shanky the Vegan's Nightmare, Ew. PS4 Digital. Spike Volleyball, PS4 Digital and Retail. That's it. I actually Nothing cannot. of note. Literally nothing of note this week. I can, yeah. Away. What's the white? Paul says away, away is meant to be away promising. Away is meant to be promising. Which one's that? Thank you, Paul. 
Away journey the unexpected. Uh, welcome to a feel-good FPS, a colorful adventure combining action, negotiation, and roguelike element, roguelite elements. Befriend and play a large variety of quirky characters, all against the backdrop of anime theme soundtrack and Kazuhiko Narusi. Yeah, you lost me at the last sentence there. <laughs> oh, there's too much else to play. To put, to play That's with. true. I want to piss fight other games until then. Anything to add? No. That PlayStation conversation happened on a Monday morning at 9am Australian Eastern Standard Time on YouTube and 8am on iTunes and other podcast services. If you'd like to be a part of future conversations, please join us on Facebook, Discord, comment below. If you're feeling generous, join us on Patreon at patreon.com slash popculturist. Head over there, check out the tiers. Might be something there that interests you. If you are a Patreon supporter, you can do what some people have done today and watch us record this show live and actually have a direct input into the show. If not, you can also show the love of pop cultures on your body. Head to mm. popculturist.com slash shop. We can buy shirts like this, not that one, and a bunch of other sort of shit like phone cases and whatnot. We also are on Twitch at twitch.tv slash popcultures. We do stream on a Wednesday. And whenever I, if for something a cool game comes my way and the embargo allows, I might stream another day as well. Mm -hmm. But Wednesday is the big old guarantee. And please go to uh, other services and listen to The Young and the Wrestlers. It's a new <laughs> show. We're five episodes in. Give us some love, please. <laughs> please help me with this new show. Please make this cool. <laughs> <laughs> but until next week, I'm Ryan Betson. I'm Josh Hornets. And that was for the players. <laughs>